Well, I have been looking forward to this one. Who is ready to rock? You know I am. I am so excited to welcome in our next guest. The Scorpions, of course, the multi-platinum, 100 million albums worldwide. Some of our favorite songs have been rocking since the 60s, 70s, 80s. Of course, now, gentlemen, you're getting ready to hit the road again. First off, how are you guys this morning? Very oh, good, Natalie. Good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, it's all good over here in New York City. Beautiful so, weather. You know, coming off the uh, Sin City residency that you guys had, which, by the way, sold out shows constantly. Talk about hitting the road again. I'm assuming there's got to be some benefits to playing at one place where, you know, you've got all of your things. You've got the great stage to hit in the road where you get to see different fans each night. What are the positive and negatives between the two and how much are you excited on hitting the road? There is no negative, first of all, you know, because it's all positive. And after all these years, we can understand why it's so attractive for so many artists to go to Vegas and play more than the show and do those residencies because you have a great setup. The casinos treat you like royalty. You know, you have the, the biggest billboard on the strip. And uh, well, it's just great for band and crew to have your setup and work your way through. And especially after this long break because of COVID-19, for almost two years or even longer you know it was great to go back and it's find back start and have it a good a start, start you know with the crew the whole new production you know and work our way through and of course with the fans coming from all over the united states and also from europe and it was just a great start you know and now we're ready to go back on the road again first in europe and then in the fall uh, here in the united states and canada you know, to, to, do a res to do a residency, it's very safe and comfortable. But rock and roll is not supposed to be safe and comfortable. It's great for a month, but now we got to hit the road and get back <laughs> to the dirty job, you know, really touring the world. And we that's the real warriors deal. again. We are road warriors. Yes. Yeah. I, that's the deal. You know, there's so many things I want to talk to you guys about. And I kind of mentioned, you know, the band, of course, started in the 60s. And, you know, we've seen the rebirth and, you know, members, you know, going in. And, and of course, the one, the group that we have now. Um, I'm curious, you know, you look at 60s and how the rock started. And then you get into, like, you know, the godfathers of the heavy rock, if you will. You have glam bands in the 80s. And then you think the 90s, you've got, you know, Metallica and Korn and, so you see the evolution of rock, and I think it's really appropriate with the tour being called Are You a Rock Believer? Where do you think rock music is going, say, in the next five, ten years? And again, you guys were a big source of that original development of rock music. I mean, you know, this music is really a music which started from the basic, very powerful ground with great bands, of course, inspired by the rock and roll guys, but Rolling Stones, Beatles, all this kind of bands, they really had a message. And this message was so strong. First of all, play great songs, great instruments, and, 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 and build a house of rock. And I think that's the reason why this music is still yeah, and happening, because it's based on very, on, let's say, a uh, handbook, and also feeling soul is maybe very close to the blues because also blues will never die because blues has so much to give feeling wise. And I think rock music, be a rock musician, rock believer is to have feeling with the music, connect with the music and make the people happy and uh, have a good night. And we are having very powerful ballads. Yeah, well, you know what, since you threw that in there, I'm going to go with this question. I know you're asked this a lot, but I just want to ask you myself. There's always those rumors, of course, when it comes to wind of change, that the CIA was involved in it. But it's a great example of how music really can change a way of thinking and, and change a culture. And I know, you know, right here in the United States, there's a lot of turmoil happening. A lot of people are divided. And I think that's interesting that you bring up ballads, because don't you think it shows how how much of an influence music can have. You guys have been able to see that firsthand, especially with Wind of Change. Yeah, it's because probably the way we grew up in the shadow of the Berlin Wall, growing up in Germany, in West Germany. And uh, so we always try to build bridges with our music, you know, and uh, 
when you go through all these times of changes, you know, then uh, of course playing in Moscow like in 89, together with Bon Jovi, Ozzy, <coughs> Motley Crue, all these bands, uh, mm -hmm. they went home saying we rocked the Soviet Union. But for us, it was an emotional thing, you know, because uh, it was so much deeper. And so when Wind of Change came out, it, uh, it just expressed the feeling for hope, hoping we, after all these dark years of the Iron Curtain, that we come closer together and we look into a peaceful future. And being musicians, we had the chance with music to connect with people around the world. Uh, and uh, we saw that in the world of emotions, uh, people are not so different after all, you know. Very much the same. Aren't they? Very much around the same. The it's the same emotion. They love rock music. And uh, it was great to use also the way playing music, writing songs to bring people together in a peaceful way. I think that's great. And I'll tell you one thing that I love because we are out of time right now, even checking out the video for Rock Believer, you can tell you guys are still loving what you do. You are having fun with it. So one more time, guys, lucky for Tampa because the band is coming here. We cannot say it enough. September 14th, Amelie Arena, get your tickets. Once again, the Scorpions, thank you so much for being with us today. Bye. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. See 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 you.